Hi everyone, today we are going to be watching The Little Mermaid. I have never seen this movie before, so I am very excited to watch it, especially because the live action version is coming out soon, so I thought I should probably watch the animated version first. I do know the song Kiss the Girl because Ashley Tisdale would sing it during the Disney Channel commercial breaks, um, so I do know that one, and then I also know the other song uh, that the crab sings, Under the Sea. All right, so I know those two songs. Also, apparently this movie came out in 1989, so it's been 34 years now. All right, I'm excited to watch this, so let's start watching. Oh, we got a dog! Great? The salty oh. sea air, the wind blowing in your face. <laughs> I'm assuming you're the prince. <laughs> I love how I ignored the prince, and I was like, <laughs> the dog. Under the sea, no. <laughs> This will be the finest concert I have ever conducted. Oh, okay, he's a conductor. Okay. Especially my little Ariel. She has the most beautiful voice. Only she'd show up for rehearsals. All right, not a good first impression of Ariel. Not showing up to rehearsals. Ah! Is the youngest in her musical debut. Oh, Ariel's the baby sister. She's a sister, Ariel. <laughs> Ariel. Everyone's panicked. What are you do? What are you up to, girl? Isn't it fantastic? Yeah, sure. It, it's great. Now let's get out of here. Oh. Something about the voice actor for Flounder reminds me of the show called Recess. His voice feels like it would have fit in well in that show. Do you really think there might be sharks around here? Oh, I well, think that's a yes. Be such a guppy. Danger lurking around every corner. <laughs> His eyes turned red. Poor Flounder, he's terrified. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. A fork! Ever seen anything so wonderful <laughs> in your entire life? Cool. But uh What is, what is it? it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, her prizes! Her fork! <laughs> is he bigger than her? Cause he's like struggled to get out, but she was just able to swim on through. Either the flounder is really big or the little mermaid is really little, which makes sense. Oh. <laughs> flounder, you really are a guppy. I am not. She handled that so calmly. <laughs> it's a dingle hopper. Humans use these little babies to straighten their hair out. Oh, the dingle hopper. Yes, of course. <laughs> dingle hopper. What about that one? A bandit, bulbous, narf black. Humans used to sit around and stare at each other all day. I don't even know what he said to repeat it. A bam, 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 snarf fest. <laughs> I don't think that was it. Music. <coughs> oh, the concert. Oh, oh my gosh, yep. my father's gonna kill me. To be fair to her, it was the first concert, so maybe she just wasn't used to having the schedule. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to defend her, but... Look at me, wasted away to practically nothing. Banished and exiled. Okay, I wonder why she was banished then. What did she do? No thanks to you, I am the laughing stock of the entire kingdom. But it wasn't her fault. Uh, well. Wasn't it? Seagull came, and it was this is this, and that is that. And... Seagull? <gasps> oh, he just revealed that they went above. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians, by by one of those humans. Daddy, they're not barbarians. They're not barbarians. They comb their hair and stare at each other. I think I want to see my youngest daughter snared by some fish eater's hook. I'm 16 years old. I'm not a child. You're a baby. She's a baby. She's 16. <laughs> Teenagers, they think they know everything. You give them an inch, they swim all over you. <laughs> Do you? Uh, Do you have children? Think, uh, I was too hard on her. Oh, I thought you asked, do you have children? <laughs> Ariel needs constant supervision. Constant. Someone to watch over her, to keep her out of trouble. Oh, that's going to be your job. All the time. And you are just the crab to do it. Yep, now that's your new job. Ariel, are you okay? Oh, whoa. This is actually a huge collection of things. It's and what's its galore. <laughs> you want thing in the box? I love the contrast of the redness of her hair with all the blue water and the blue items. Betcha on land, they understand, but they don't reprimand their daughters. Mm, and that, <laughs> that still happens on the land. Ask them my questions and get some answers. Is he okay? <laughs> what is he doing? Out of the sea. 
That's so pretty. I did see that in um, the trailer for the live action movie or like the little sneak peek that they did. I didn't realize that was like exactly the, the same shot of her coming out. Oh my gosh. Super beautiful, but you will be caught with all that, that like dolphin swimming. There's the dog. Okay, so this is Prince Eric's ship. Is he actually a prince? <laughs> so cute. Come on, Max. <laughs> Good boy. She's surprised. You're gonna get caught, girl. I've never seen a human this close before. He's very handsome, isn't he? I don't know. He looks kind of hairy and slobbery to me. <laughs> to present our esteemed Prince Eric. Oh, he is a prince. Okay. Wow, statue. Oh. Why do they both hate it? Of course, I had hoped it would be a wedding present. Oh, come on, Grim. Don't start. I wonder how old Eric is. He feels like he's not 16. Believe me, Grim. When I find her, I'll know. Without a doubt, it'll just bam, hit me. Like lightning. Oh. Is he gonna see her as a mermaid? Or is he just gonna see her as a human? I guess that makes sense. There were like a lot of shipwrecks in that area of the water. Oh my gosh. Oh, the dog! Eric, save Max! Jump, Max! Come on, boy, jump! What have you been doing, Max? Oh, he's so trusting. Good job, Max. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no! <gasps> what? Okay, Ariel, save him. Is she actually gonna save him? Oh. I love this. She saved the prince. Is he dead? It's hard to say. Oh, I wonder if his kingdom assumes that he's dead then. I can't make out a heartbeat. <laughs> In the foot? He's breathing. He's so beautiful. Ariel, this is the first human you've seen. <laughs> so this is what Eric saw the moment he woke up from a near-death experience. Are you really delight in these? Okay, so they- okay. I thought it was gonna be this whole thing where everyone thought he was dead and that's how he got to bond with Ariel because they were like stuck on this island or something together. A girl rescued me. She was singing. <laughs> she had the most- The most beautiful, beautiful voice. voice. Yeah. Her voice is beautiful. Oh! Oh! Max, go on with them. So he doesn't know that she's a mermaid at this point. Oh! And that's the iconic scene. Okay. Can they not hear her? I mean, the, Max is clearly like, look over there, <laughs> the, the girl <laughs> singing with the splashing water behind her. Triton's headstrong, lovesick girl would make a charming addition what is that? to my little garden. What were those supposed to be? But it will not be easy keeping something. Is she doing like the, he loves me not, he loves me. Loves me. There you go, of course. I'll swim up to his castle. Then Flounder will splash around to get his attention. And I really don't know, like, what she'll do. <laughs> She's literally a mermaid. Oh, he jumped up. Oh, I think he ate oh. a delicious treat. Look at him. Oh, look at your tail wagging. She's so cute. <laughs> And he left. <laughs> he just wanted me to know that he really enjoyed whatever treat he got. <laughs> oh, we're starting with this song. Under the sea. Under the sea. That's <laughs> those are literally the only words I know of the song. One day when the boss get hungry. Guess who's gonna be on the oh, this, this is kinda sad. <laughs> that beat is so iconic though. Good job. Ariel? Oh my gosh, Ariel! <laughs> They put on a whole show for you. Somebody's got to nail that girl's fins to the floor. Ouch. Ooh, who could the lucky merman be? Merman? I have not seen a single merman. Except the king, I guess. Ariel? In love? I told her to stay away from humans. They are bad. They are trouble. Humans. They... Oh, and now he knows. Andre, you're the best. It looks oh my gosh. just like him. I wonder where in the world they're located. That it's an area with so many shipwrecks happening. Finless, savage, harpooning fish eaters, incapable uh -huh. of any feeling. Daddy, I love him! I, I was gonna say first, she's standing behind Eric, having Eric protect her in even in statue form. But also like Ariel, you've known him for like ten minutes. <laughs> Literally probably like ten minutes. 
Oh, help me, Ariel. I am going to get through Wait, what? You. What is he gonna do? Oh, I guess destroy everything that she's collected? How is that gonna get through to her? Uh -huh. Ariel, I... Just go away. What was the point of that except to hurt her? Poor child. Poor sweet child. And lead her right into the hands of whatever Ursula's plotting. I'm going to see Ursula. No! No, she's a demon! She's a monster! Is she literally? I'm still trying to figure out what she did to be banished. This is what I live for, to help unfortunate merfolk like yourselves. Right, she's like a fairy godmother trying to make the princess's dreams come true. Sure. They come flocking to my cauldron crying spells, Ursula, please. Even like trembling and terrified, Flounder moved forward. It happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price. I had to rake them across the goal. Oh, so that's what they are? It happens once or twice, but those creatures that we saw, they were covering the entire walls and floor. Okay, so she's straight up in the song telling Ariel, you have a price to pay if you're going through this deal with me. You've got to get dear. Ooh, look at her hair brown. But if he doesn't, you turn back into a mermaid and you belong to me. No! Wow. So she straight up told her, you either become a, I mean, either way, she's going to lose her family. If I become human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. Right, that's what I'm saying. But you'll have your man. <laughs> a man who you don't really know, who you've only seen. I mean, he was playing with a dog, the dog liked him, that's a good sign. <laughs> but, like, we don't know him. What I want from you is your voice. Wait, wait, wait. So, no, no, no. So I was thinking it was if Ariel comes back as a mermaid, she'll lose her voice. But if she becomes a human, she loses her voice. What? Ariel, what are you doing? Stop! She just signed it. Stop! Wait, it's taking her voice now? I thought it was like if she becomes a human, if she succeeds in her mission of having Prince Eric fall in love with her, then the cost will be losing her voice. But she lost her voice now? Oh my gosh, good thing they were there, because now she's human, so she could die if she had stayed underground. Underground, under the water. Can't get it out of my head. I've looked everywhere, Mac. Oh, meanwhile, this dude. <laughs> now she has legs. You could go home with all the normal fish and just be miserable for the rest of your life. Okay, so we're trying to see her side now, that this is like, she believes this is her main chance at finding happiness. I love that he's really just been hanging around here. Like, maybe she'll show up again. Oh. Oh, I see. Max found her. You seem very familiar to me. <laughs> he's been... He has been pining over her for so many... Well, I don't know, actually. It might have been a few hours since his near-death experience. But he has been pining over her and just waiting for her. And now here she is, and he's like... Mm. Mm. Have I seen you before? <laughs> have we met? <laughs> Literally, have we met? And now she can't yeah. say anything. I knew it. You're the one. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Max, for clarifying for Eric. I thought it was going to be like something where he wouldn't he wouldn't realize it was her for a while. You can't speak? Oh, then you couldn't be who I thought. <gasps> it is that. It is that. Really? Really? <laughs> Gee, you must have really been through something. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll help you. Come on. Come on, you'll be okay. She's lucky that Prince Eric is a kind person and invited her to stay while she gets better. I'm um, telling you, Grim, she was real. I'm gonna find that girl and I'm gonna marry her. He really does not know her. Does not. I mean, to be fair to him, they did only see each other for a few seconds. Um, she saw him for <laughs> she saw him for a few more minutes than he saw her. It's uh, it's uh, not often that we have oh, no. such a love. She's gonna comb her hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you can stare at him. This rather I know. Oh, <laughs> oh my. <clears throat> oh, <so> sorry. <laughs> okay, at least prink, prink. <laughs> at least Prince Eric is entertained. Why, Eric? That's the first time I've seen you smile in weeks. Oh, oh, oh is he okay? In weeks. What's going on in Prince Eric's life? Is he alright? 
Oh my gosh. Cut off their hands and I pull out their bones. <laughs> this is like a, a murder torture scene for Sebastian and all the other sea creatures. <laughs> She's still using the fork. Got to make a plan to get that boy to kiss. I look so comfortable. Mm. Hello? <laughs> I think my Alexa just started. I don't know what it did. Just made a noise. I wonder what Flounder is up to. At least Sebastian could be there to help her out on land. <gasps> There's Flounder! Have you kissed her yet? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're so invested. I mean, they have to be. It's a pretty dangerous deal that she made. Oh, oh my gosh, the baguette, the poor bread. Eric, oh, okay, good. I thought he like flew off. I can't see a thing. Is this the, the kiss the girl scene? I remember they were on a boat in the Ashley Tisdale music video. You want something done, you've got to do it yourself. Oh, of course, he's the conductor. Percussion. Strings. So cute. She don't got a lot I wonder say. if he can understand. Like, are these just animal noises or if he can actually hear the lyrics? Kissed again. Did, did you hear something? <laughs> Maybe he can't understand. Look at how you know you do. Yeah, they're really throwing out like subliminal messaging <laughs> to get him to kiss her. I feel really bad not knowing your name. Maybe I could guess. Mildred. <laughs> What's wrong with that name? <laughs> her name is Aria. Aria? Okay, confirmed. He can hear and understand what they're saying. Well, that's kind of pretty. That's kind of pretty? <laughs> this is really cute. They're really like, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're really trying to convince the prince here. Okay, they stopped it. It's time Ursula took matters into her own tentacles. I don't know why. I thought that Ursula would actually be like, this is a deal. And then, but I guess I should have expected her to interfere and try to sabotage her. Ooh, she like changed her, like her face and her, I don't know. It transformed a little bit, her appearance. What just happened? Was that Ursula? The whole town's buzzing about the prince getting himself hitched this afternoon! Okay, so Ursula, is she like a shapeshifter too? I love how she just assumes, oh, that must be me. I guess I'm getting married today. <laughs> Mystery maiden of yours does it in fact exist. We wish to be married as soon as possible. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is literally what happened in Shrek 2, no? With Prince Charming pretending to be Shrek? And, but this time Ursula's pretending to be Ariel? And then um, Shrek is like, no, no, Fiona. And then the godmother's like, she can't hear you, darling. And then, <laughs> do you like my whole interpretation of the scene? <laughs> um, and then in this case, Ariel can't speak, so he can't hear her, darling. <laughs> wow. I had no idea. Was Shrek too inspired by, that part was inspired by The Little Mermaid? Another reason to love Shrek too. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Okay, so her reflection still shows her true self. Prince is marrying the sea witch in disguise! I'm glad it, he actually said it though. <laughs> I was worried it was gonna be another level of miscommunication. Find a way to stall that wedding! I think you got this. You see? The dog knows. The dog is like, I don't approve of her. She's evil. <laughs> also, she kicked the dog? Even more reason why she's evil. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's certainly a way to stall the wedding. <gasps> Her voice! I wanted to tell you. Eric, no! <gasps> it's too late! <laughs> Imagine you just you, you just wanna go to the prince's wedding? You want to see him get married? He's been really sad for a few weeks, apparently. You just want to see him be happy. And then, then this happens. Let her go. Not a chance, Triton. She's mine now. We made a deal. Rip up the contract. Oh, he did do that. Okay. Oh, no, it doesn't rip. Okay, there has to be some type of clause that she can take advantage of to get out of it. I hereby grant, what's your contract? I hereby grant unto Ursula the Witch of the Sea for all eternity. Okay. 
Nothing. <gasps> oh, he gave up his soul? Eric, you gotta get away from here! No, I won't leave you! He's not even- wait, what? He didn't even move his lips. No, I won't leave you! <laughs> he literally- I think that was added like in post. That audio felt weird. Maybe it was like a line they added in later so it wasn't animated. Whoa, another ship gone. That area, there should be like some type of, they should, people should know, people should be advised that that area is known for, for shipwrecks. Oh, they're all back. Wow, so Eric saved by hurting slash, I guess, killing Ursula. Eric saved the lives of so many people. She really does love him. Okay, <laughs> I was like, are they just staring at his, like, is he alive? Is he okay? Then I guess there's just one problem left. How much I'm going to miss her. He's letting her go? Wait, so he could have turned her into a human as well. That is a gorgeous dress. Wow. Oh, that's so cute. He let her go. Oh. I really want to know what happened to Prince Eric. She's so happy for him. Why didn't he laugh for a few weeks? Why wasn't he happy? I love you, Daddy. I hope she can still visit them. So I guess their marriage also reconnected the mermaids with the human world. I don't actually know if there's like a The Little Mermaid 2. I feel like there should be. There's like a Mulan 2, there's a Cinderella 2, Cinderella 3. I got distracted by Stitch and forgot to film the rest of the outro, but I thought The Little Mermaid was super fun. I loved the songs, they were so catchy, and there were so many funny moments. Alright, hope you enjoyed looking at Sleepy Stitch. He's so cute. Okay, well he's really sleepy, so... Um... <laughs> I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And again, thank you for watching. Bye!